Hey guys, uh, Nick here again for, with uh, this Plains Auto Clinic. Kind of wanted to go over uh, the BMW M3 again and how much it actually cost me to build the car the way it is. Um, those of you who want to turbo the, your BMW E36 or M3, it's really not that hard. If you guys are mechanically inclined, um, I suggest you do it. It's not that expensive. Um, instead of getting you know wheels and you know body kits and things like that i think the car looks good the way it is um and i just pretty much put money into the engine and performance of the car instead of the looks of it so how much it actually cost me to build this car i could i'll go over it step by step and if you guys are planning on doing it yourself uh, like I said, this is a budget build, and um, it didn't cost me tens of thousands of dollars to get it to where it is. It cost me less than five grand. So, starting with the motor, if you guys are planning on building uh, a turbocharged E36, I would suggest putting a thicker head gasket on the car. I went with the 140 MLS gasket. <clears throat> uh, Heard a lot of good reviews on it. Plus, I had that gasket on my old Turbo M3, so and I didn't have any problems with it. So, I went with the MLS gasket. That gasket cost me about, you get it online for about 280 bucks. So, that gasket part alone was 280 Then I went with the ARP head bolt studs. That cost me about $180 for the stud, stud kit. Highly recommended. If you guys are turbocharging your car, get the thicker head gasket and the ARP studs. It kind of seals the motor a lot better. Um, now, while I was in there doing the head gasket job, I also replaced the timing chain, all the guides, uh, the, the, um, the crankshaft gear, I also welded the oil pump nut, which is very common on these cars. The oil pump nut comes off and you'll lose oil pressure, which is no good. Uh, so not really gonna go, go into details about doing the timing chain and all that, but the timing chain guides all cost me about, you get it online for about $150, maybe less. Um, so the motor has all new timing chains, guys. Venos, all the seals and gaskets have been replaced on the Venos. Um, water pump, thermostat, all that's been done. Total in the car, in the motor, with the gasket, ARP studs, timing chain guides, the water pump, thermostat, Venos guide seals intake gasket while everything was apart i pretty much replaced all of it except for the bottom end pieces which is all stock i didn't touch any of that so like the rod bearings the piston rings that stuff i didn't touch so technically it's not rebuilt but majority of the components of the motor is freshened up a little bit um so parts in the motor cost me roughly about 600 bucks I would say six seven hundred dollars just for the engine now when I did the motor when I actually rebuilt the motor components I didn't put the turbo kit on right away because I wanted to see how the car was actually going to drive if there was any issues with it I didn't want to slap the turbo kit on and then if the car didn't start or anything like that it basically made the diagnostic process a lot easier if there wasn't any problems with the motor so um now like i said if you guys are rebuilding it rebuilding the engine you, sh you should have some mechanical experience because it's not that easy uh it took me almost three weeks to do it but i was taking my time i didn't want to throw off the timing or anything like that because if timing went off on the car then it'd just be catastrophe so uh, i took my time got all the right tools for it you know got everything buttoned up put together in the engine it's car cranked up drove perfectly fine i put probably about 
2,000 miles on the motor before I actually put the turbo kit on. So it's highly recommended if you guys are planning on turboing your car. I would not put a turbo on unless you're going to freshen up the motor a little bit because in the end, the head gasket will go out. It's very common on these cars where the head gasket blows up. And if you guys are putting boost in the car, don't even bother because it's just going to cause more headache in the future. So, so that being said, parts in the motor cost me about six, seven hundred dollars just for the parts. Uh, I did all the labor myself. Um, I know a lot about these engines. I built a few, so doing it was easy for me. But like I said, I took my time and did it right the first time. So. So that being said, uh, once the motor was running good, I ended up buying, now I pieced my turbo kit kind of together. Um, I first bought the intercooler kit, which came from CX Racing. Uh, the piping I'm not happy about, you know, the piping wasn't the best, but it works. Um, the intercooler kit I got from CX Racing, I got it on like a Black Friday sale, it was, I want to say I paid about 400 bucks for the intercooler kit. That came with the intercooler, the piping, the blow-off valve, um, everything to do with the intercooler and piping. So now, that was 400 bucks alone. Did the piping fit perfectly? No, it didn't. This piping over here, I'm not really happy with it. There's a couple leaks right here. I fixed the blow-off valve. Uh, leak because the bolts that actually come with the kit they're, they're not the best bolts so you definitely want to upgrade the bolts if you do get this kit because if you guys watch my previous video a couple of the bolts broke and the inner the blow off valve bolts were coming loose so but all that's fixed now so Intercooler kit, like I said, was like 400 bucks for me. Then I went ahead and bought the the downpipe and the manifold. I bought the downpipe and the manifold from CX Racing again for about I want to say it was about 520 bucks. So that right there is almost a thousand dollars just for the downpipe and the manifold i went with a different wastegate uh went with tio wastegate i didn't go with their wastegate uh that wastegate cost me about 350 dollars for the wastegate and then i actually went with a different turbo uh than the one that cx racing came with which i will show you that turbo right now uh the turbo i went with was also an ebay turbo but i wanted a three inch housing uh, with it Which didn't really work out so I would definitely not recommend getting the turbo So this is the turbo I actually went with Originally It's pretty much the same exact turbo But this one has a 3 inch housing instead of a 2.5 inch Which didn't work with my kit It didn't, come, it didn't work with the downpipe So I called CX Racing and they ended up giving me the turbo that they had, which works with the kit. So if I was to use that turbo, then I would have to cut this down pipe, put a new flange on there. It just would have been a pain. So I didn't do that. So I just spent another $220 on just a turbo. It came with uh, all the gaskets and drain gaskets, seals, everything. So. That right there cost me another 200, like 20 bucks for the turbo. Um, if you guys are doing this, just get the CX Racing uh, oil feed lines instead of, because finding fittings for the oil feed was a pain in the ass. So I just went with the feed lines that came with the turbo kit. You know, just get all that from CX Racing because finding the fittings is a pain. Home Depot, Meyer, or wherever, nobody had that the fittings for that damn thing so so right there i mean if you guys are planning on turboing it i pieced it together but 
it's better just to buy the kit complete. I think it's like $1,400 on eBay. Um, so if you, that's what I would recommend. So if you guys are going to do the turbo kit alone with the motor build, all the components in the engine, it's going to cost roughly about two grand. So the turbo kit and the engine build parts like the head gasket guides chains everything is about two grand um that being said i also went with the aem uh air fuel air fuel ratio gauge and the sensor that kit right there is let me show you the product So I went with this. Your fuel rate works awesome. That was about 150 bucks. Um, phone's ringing. Give me one second. All right. So total so far we got about 2150 with the air air fuel gauge. Um, the next thing was the tune. So I went with the Miller Performance chip. Came with the 60 pound injectors, master flow sensor, uh, the blow through sensor, and the tune itself was $880. So that right there is about three grand almost. Uh, let's just say three grand. So complete with the tune, the turbo kit, the air fuel gauge, and the sensor was about three grand now i also went with e the uh Ar ireland engineering oil cap which i have my oil feed line tapped into it it comes with this tap already installed that cap you don't have to do that but i highly recommend it because a lot of people tap into the venos line which i didn't want to mess with the venos oil feed line I, I want my engine vanos to get as much oil as possible so i don't want to mess with that so i went ahead and tapped into the filter housing which is feeding oil all the way to the turbo which works perfectly so those of you who say it doesn't work good it's been working for me so <laughs> works just fine uh that cap was about 100 120 bucks plus i went with the oil cooler setup which i got mounted right over here it's flush look which works awesome and I got the lines running from the oil cap all the way to the oil cooler and that was about what the lines you could get that for about 50 60 dollars so that's not that expensive so total so far with the turbo kit the motor uh, pieces the tune that and this and then the uh, air fuel ratio we're at about $3,200 um, and I believe that's pretty much it now all these little vacuum lines this miscellaneous stuff that you could get at a local parts store those are pretty inexpensive we're talking like less than 10 bucks for all that uh, same with the oil drain the oil drain, I got the uh, specific fittings that go into my oil drain plug. Um, since it's a top mount, you know, running it right to your oil drain plug shouldn't be an issue. I haven't had any issues yet, so that right there was another $60 for the fittings and the hose. So, talking about close to $3,300 for the complete turbo kit build with the engine components and i did all the labor myself if you guys were to take it to a shop they'll probably charge you another two to three grand to install everything i mean if you guys are mechanically inclined it's not that hard to actually bolt up the turbo components the only hard part was doing the head gasket job that's a pain in the ass i highly recommend if you don't know how to do that take it to a shop because if you guys put it all back together and your timing's off you're pretty much screwed because 
I mean, you're probably going to need a new engine. <laughs> um, now I got $3,200 in the motor and the turbo itself, which is not bad because the car pulls pretty, pretty good and it's fun to drive. I recently just added this uh, tow hook clip. Uh, that was about $11. And then I got the velocity splitters that I just installed today, which I think it looks cool. Um, those are about 35 bucks. The coilovers I got are the Max Speed Rod coilovers. Those cost me $250. I actually got them on Craigslist from another user. Um, they're okay. I mean, the rear shocks are starting to go bad already, and I only put about 2,000 miles on the coilovers. So, if you guys are going to do coilovers, I probably wouldn't recommend getting the Max Speed Rod coilovers. Um, but for now, it's fine. I don't really track the car that much, but I do plan on going out uh, to events sometime this year. Um, now, I also got a, a catch can, which I'm running a line from the crankcase to my catch can right here. And then I got the uh, other line going into my intake boot, which this boot you get online for about 50 bucks as well. The catch can was like 20 or 30 bucks, which is pretty cheap. But I highly recommend that because, which I forgot to put this clip on. Luckily, I saw that. So good. Just so no oil rushes out of there. I'll tighten that up. Um, if you don't have a catch can, this vacuum line right here, a lot of times when it was on their boost, it would come off and oil would just go all over the place. So now, this oil that goes from the crankcase goes into the catch can and by the time it gets to the intake it pretty much burns off so I'd highly recommend getting a catch can if you guys are terrible with charging your car all right what else did I do to this car I believe that's basically it I did do the uh, the polyurethane bushings all the way around those were a little pricey I would say those were about $60 for the rear R tabs. I got solid mount trans mounts. Those I got online for about 40 bucks. The next thing I got to upgrade is my engine mounts, which are starting to go bad. So that's next, is doing the motor mounts. Um, the car does have a UUC short throw shifter in it, which I got for about $225. Works awesome. It has a custom exhaust, which I made here at the shop, the Splains Auto Clinic. Now, those of you who are turbocharging your car, um, the Miller Performance Tune, you have to delete your EWS system. The car will not start. It will start, but it'll take at least 30 tries for it to start. So if you guys delete your EWS system, the car will start right away. And I was dealing with Brody. He uh, kind of guided me on how to bypass it. It's actually pretty easy. You pull off the glove box and you just disconnect the EWS system and the car will fire right up. It's a security system that the car has. I can't, couldn't even believe it. 1995, it came with that system. So that being said, total and parts, I did all the labor myself with the turbo kit and the motor build itself was about $3,200 with all the sensors and everything. All the other stuff that I did to the car, that's just, um, I'm not gonna include that in the price, but there you have it. So those of you guys who are turbocharging your car, if you wanna make it nice and decently reliable, it's gonna cost about 3,200 bucks. Not bad for, uh, I would say the car, I haven't dyno it yet, but I'm planning on going sometime soon. I'm guessing right now it probably has like maybe 400 horsepower. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. Thanks.